So you mentioned you didn't really know what a math circle was, but now that you've had some experience, how would you define a math circle to somebody who doesn't know what it is? Um, I still, I, I'm still not entirely sure <laughs> I know what a math circle is because I think it takes many, many forms. You know, people are working with kids at different ages, at different levels of ability, with different intentions in mind. I define math circles as being um, opportunities for um, students, whether those are K through 12 students or parents or teachers or guardians or other adults, to come together and engage in problem solving. Math circle is a time when you can just enjoy math and play with math and you don't have a specific problem or task that you have to complete and Hopefully, it's a very friendly and not stressful environment where people just work together and enjoy and play, play with the math. Parents, adults who are interested in math, um, together with the students to show them something, show them something that math can be beyond just the problems that they're doing in their in their classroom and. Now, if they have a great teacher, maybe this is already happening, and some of this may already be happening in the classroom, and that's fabulous. But I think all too often, it isn't. The teachers just don't have time to do that. They're trying to get through their curriculum. And the math circles, you have the opportunity to bring in something that's accessible, but just kind of totally tangential to what you're usually, you know, the sort of learning how to multiply and divide and do trigonometry and whatever it is. Um, but that's really kind of fun and exciting, maybe something that's more geometric when people are focusing more on the algebra, um, things like topics like graph theory that are very elementary that can be gotten into very easily, but that just don't show up until, frankly, unless you're a math major, you never see it. But it's, it's really easy to get into and it's really pretty cool. It's an amorphous thing and it'll be different in different areas and different ages and depending on who's running it. It can be neighborhood, small size. Ours is very large based at a university. But I think the key thing is that it is not so much about teaching more math, although that is very often a, a, an obvious focus. It's about trying to uh, reach deeper and broader. Treating mathematics as a conversation I think is maybe there are a lot, there's a lot more to it, but I think that's the core of it. I'll just bring a whole bunch of people together and talk about mathematics a lot. <laughs> you know, the thing is, I, I don't have a clear definition. I mean, I think the definition we brought up when we started the segment was, you know, an informal experience that unites uh, students of whatever age or teachers of mathematics, you know, mathematical thinking professionals, blah, 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 to have a conversation about mathematics. But the thing is, no, it's just any organic experience that tends to a conversation about meaningful mathematics to the audience at hand in whatever way that is, you know. Um, many math circles are very competition focused, which is fine. If that's what excites you, go for it. I think it's exploring math um, through innovative means, um, non-traditional means of exploring math, letting kids think outside the box. I think it's also like exposure, and that's I feel like that's my main thing because I know, like she said, in that area where we're at, I, I I, did, I never lived there, but it's the place where I spent a lot of my childhood, so I know that a lot of them are not exposed to this. Um, I wasn't exposed to any college type thing growing up, and college was never forced on me. It was never like, you're going to grow up to go to college. That was never the case for me, and I know that a lot of them aren't even exposed to it or encouraged to. It's more like, as soon as you're done with high school, you got to go to work, or even when you're 60, you just go to work. So I feel like it's exposure to that. It's learning in a fun way, uh, learning that math is not just numbers, it's not just worksheets. Um, and, well, well, yeah, just showing them what's out there, showing them different occupations, different education routes that they can go. Math Circle is an opportunity for students to discover what mathematics is really about and to have a lot of fun with it. The most important differences to me is that the students are creating mathematics. They're not just being told how to do problems in a certain way. It's not algorithmic. It's discovery oriented and um, creative. So the students are creating something new together. And that's really important. I guess the way I describe it in my nutshell is that to me a math circle is like um, jazz music. So it's not classical music. It's not all written out with a score. And your job as the players is not to execute the score perfectly. 
Uh, it's much more, here's a, here's a set of chord changes, here's a theme. Uh, go do something and it's on you. And then listen to what the other person did and build off of that. So you're somehow this ensemble of improvisation. In a case of what we do, I try to in, tell people to think of it, the math world as a tree and the curriculum in your school goes up the trunk of the tree sequentially very linearly and we actually actively try not to accelerate students through that curriculum rather we try to branch off of that to do things that are not going to be covered in school so we go more for breadth now for someone who knows how mathematics works when you get to college you end up relearning math from the beginning over again so oftentimes what we're doing in getting breadth we're kind of jumping ahead to early college level topics and I, for example one class that I like teaching even to our lowest level group is symbolic logic which usually would not be seen until early college years if it's seen at all and yet taught in a, in a thoughtful way young kids can can get it with truth tables and it's small enough they can get their mind on as long as you don't get carried away. We learn to uh, talk about mathematics and we learn, we learn to read and write mathematics and do mathematics, but we learn to talk about it with each other. And we learn that it's a conversation, not just about the mathematics, but about the experience of doing mathematics. I would say it's usually kids and professionals together sharing the human experience of mathematics, whatever way, shape, form that is. Usually in the structure of meeting informally outside of class, blah, 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 blah. But all, all those definitions can be broken. We're teaching kids to actually think. Mathematics. We're not teaching it as a low order skill like operating some kind of a tool, which is my view of most of the way mathematics is traditionally been taught. Uh, we're, we're teaching it as a high order cognitive set of skills. An engaging, uh, extracurricular, not time to, and I mean that not only the not at school times, because some of them are during school times so because they're maybe for homeschool children, but they're, they're not tied to curriculum. Um, so that's a freeing aspect of it. Um, I would say that it's usually led by a mathematician or coordinated with mathematicians so that you engage in really authentic um, and deep mathematical discovery that looks like what doing mathematics looks like. The Math Circle is a program that connects mathematicians with students or math teachers or parents, really anyone who doesn't already see themselves as a mathematician. Um, and the people who come there all are there because they want to be there. I think that's one difference between a math circle and like a school math class. The math circle is a group of kids who are interested in math, sitting around and talking about math. But um, basically they're facilitated with the idea of kids letting kids, pre-college kids, get to know what real mathematics is like, getting the experience of discovering, experimenting, conjecturing, and all the things that are not part of a normal curriculum. The fun thing for me about Math Circle is that there's, the, the young learners are seeing things that I didn't get to see until maybe my senior year of college or, or beyond, and or had never seen until I started showing them. Um, so it's an exposure to things that are so um, deep that sometimes we hold off on showing kids, but really there's an entry point. Get past the curriculum, trying to get past the, 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 the homework aspect of it to find their interest and, and stimulate that interest is really what Mass Circles are all about.